guys, we're about to show you what we think is Ireland's best kept secret. Wow, it's, guys, it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's really way better than I thought it was gonna be. Every time we're home, we're trying to show you all the best bits this country has to offer. We've done the Wild Atlantic Way, the Ring of Kerry, up in the North Coast, all the way down in Cork. But whenever you look up road trips in Ireland, you never really hear about the Copper Coast. In fact, we had never heard of it before this week. We're going to show you why we think the Copper Coast is one of the top things you should do in Ireland. It's blowing my mind. Like, looking out there, it makes me believe in mermaids. They're not trees or bushes, that's a frigging castle. This is insane. Everywhere you look, there's like cliffs and ocean. So last week you seen we made it all the way from the north coast, smashed our way down to the very bottom west tip of Ireland in Cork. We tried living with four people in a van, but this week we've made our way back across the south coast into County Waterford. And guys, we're so excited to show you this place. <laughs> Hello. I was going to come out the front door to see you. Hi. What are you doing? Um, nothing. Nothing. Story of our lives. <laughs> um, yeah, we've definitely had a few chill days, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. It's mostly because of the action-packed adventure that we had with Tom and Iz. I know, we're still recovering. Nice guys. It took us like a week to recover from all that. You know, we're not used to that stimulation. Yeah, we want to start this vlog with a bang, but um, it's <laughs> we've been finding it pretty hard to get going today. Yeah. We got up for sunrise, but it was super overcast, so we did what any sane person would do and got back into bed. So apparently there's a waterfall here. Well, not apparently. I can pretty much see it from the car park, but it's like a 10 minute walk. So we're going to go check it out. But guys, if you know us, you know that we can't start our day without getting some coffee. Guys, something terrible has happened. This could be the end of existence for everyone. Keely can't get her coffee. So actually, the quicker you get up and the quicker we go see this waterfall, the quicker we can go get water and get coffee. No, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's not happening until I've had coffee. Keely, like, don't be, I'm not walking don't be, to that. Don't be unreasonable. No, don't start being, Don't no. be unreasonable. I'm being, no, the, Keely, the waterfall's a hike come away. Come on. I'm being serious, this isn't working. Give me your hand. That's not gonna happen. Give me your hand. <laughs> come on, happen. let's go. I'm being deadly serious. No, what come you're on. gonna do, Philly, this is gonna start being where I start getting actually annoyed. Come on. No, <laughs> don't you reveal my little cold body. Let's go. I'm come being on, serious. Please be a good husband and go fetch me some water. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, this is not happening. If everyone tell him it should happen. <laughs> Guys, so I hope now you understand why we have so much coffee. Because <laughs> otherwise, this is what happens. <laughs> Alright, so this area is called the Comoran Mountains. And one of the top things to do here is go see these Mahan waterfalls. So we're going to that first. And then over the hill behind me is another place called Ned Curran's Cottage. And it was an old IRA safe house that they used to use. But I don't get the feeling that Keely is gonna want to walk to the waterfall and then back to that as well. But we'll see. A young Irish forager, well, young at heart, set on the grueling task of roaming across an almost flat road to get to her treasure, which was the fountain of youth and enlightenment. And then she had to turn around and set off on the two week track back home. Um, excuse me, that was most certainly not flat and my calves are burning and I can't feel my ears. But most importantly, now we have sheep poo water for coffee. Mm -hmm. 
cheers to our health and survival. Just taste the exact same. <laughs> Literally taste the exact same. I'm so Whoa. youthful and enlightened. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Can Hi. you tell me the way to the coast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. So our plan today is to see Waterford's Copper Coast. We had never ever heard of this before, but apparently it is just as beautiful as the Wild Atlantic Way or the Ring of Kerry. And it's called the Copper Coast because there used to be copper mines all along the south coast of Waterford. So this town that we're in now is called Dungarvan and it is the start of the Copper Coast. But before we get on it, we need some water. Thankfully, there's a motorhome area where you can dump and fill just like around the corner. How convenient! <laughs> Guys, this is our wastewater. Here, it's just coffee brown. <laughs> Why does it come out over there? I can't push it. That's going to be so heavy. Excuse me, man. Strong man. <laughs> Strong woman. Oh. Such a complicated system, right? <laughs> pipe in bottle. Oops. Waste pipe in bottle. H2O! Woo! Let's go to the Copper Coast, baby! So our water's topped up. We've even managed to empty a little bit of our rubbish because this is the first time in the whole of Ireland that we find that actually has public bins. We're gonna hit the road and uh, I'm excited to see the Copper Coast. Yay! So you can start either east or west. We're starting west at that little town that we dropped off our water at and it is super cute. Loads of little coloured buildings, a little harbour full of boats, loads of pubs and cafes. Definitely that would be a really good park up to start it and um, I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, this looks beautiful already. Sweet mercy. There's a little river and all. Wow. Well, there's a lovely clearing. Plenty of parking. Go on, give me the info. Basically that the Copper Coast comes from volcano activity, which I'd already read. So this is all the birth of a volcano. Guys, this is the longest beach I've ever been on. We're walking on stuff that has seaweed on it, which means in this entire depth of beach is yeah. sea. It's just crazy how tidal this is. <laughs> what are you saying? It's just like, wow. It's, guys, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. It's really way better than I thought it was going to be. All these little inlets, you can kind of imagine that these were mines. Like you see from the drone, all these little like carving out of the rock. The rock's gorgeous, the sea smells so fresh. And it's just beautiful, Philly, isn't it? So beautiful. Wow, Waterford's bloody beautiful. Wow. That's right, you heard it here first. Wow. <laughs> Man, you could spend so much time here. You could just get lost here, it's so quiet. And look at all this beach, there's so much beach for people to come down and, and chill. I mean, you have to walk for a kilometre to get to the sea. <laughs> okay, that's me, not you rascal. <laughs> <Billy>. <laughs> we rascal! <laughs> Alright, Kelly. What? I have a question for you. Okay. This river over here? Yeah. Fresh water or salt water? I vote fresh. You think it's fresh? Leading into salt. Okay. Am I tasting it? Yes. Okay. Let us know in the comments, is this fresh water or salt water? It's fresh, baby. Is it? Yeah, it's no fresh. Way. Yeah, 100%. That is fresh. That was tasty. Now you've got some sort of lurgy. No, I've got r river seaweed nutrition of heaven. That's what I've got. Are you going to market it like that? Yeah. <laughs> you just swinging your arms. You're so happy. I'm just like, really didn't expect this to be so gorgeous. 
really beautiful. I'm really happy we came here, but I'm really hungry, so <laughs> can I get a snack? <laughs> Onwards to the next spot. Yeah. Hua. Guys, so far this drive has been incredible. These views are insane. These cliffs are amazing. Oh my word, this is probably one of the most beautiful places I've been in Ireland. Do you agree? I feel like I'm in a magical fairy tale. The walk you start in a pass, but then it just becomes wild and you're just clambering on these rocks and the plants and the wildlife and it's just... Oh my! on my mind like looking out there it makes me believe in mermaids and walking through the little paths and these rocks makes me believe in fairies it just feels very magical and wild and oh I love it it's oh I know all we ever say is stuff's beautiful guys <laughs> it's really beautiful Guys, this is insane. Everywhere you look, there's like cliffs and ocean. <laughs> so we're coming to see Dunhill Castle and... We just got a glimpse of it, it and it looks amazing. It's so good. Cool. They're not trees or bushes, that's a frigging castle. Wow. reclaimed by nature. I'm excited man, let's get to it. You're excited? You don't get excited too easily. <laughs> Can I get a cup of tea? Of course, every time we stop Keely has to either pee, get food, make a cup of tea, or rinse and repeat. Uh, in this case it was all three. <laughs> okay, so this castle is called Dunhill Castle. Uh, there's a beach a, a few kilometers away called Anstown Beach and apparently you can walk along the river There's a walk. I think it's actually called Anstown Nature Valley Walk or yeah. something yeah. Uh, And it's like a half hour walk to the castle But unfortunately the car park has a height restriction so we couldn't fit Martha in it But if you come in a car or a small van you can Yeah, but we can fit here come to the castle and then walk to the beach. That's our tip. You're right there It's freaking scorching. Okay, I made a cup of tea because I wanted a cup of tea, but I didn't realize how sunny it was. You don't understand that. And now I'm not sure if a cup but of tea is But is there not science idea. behind drinking a, a... You drink a hot beverage on a hot day and it makes your body... It tricks your body into being cooler? I don't know if you made that up. Let me know, guys. What do you think? I want to go for a little walk down the valley. Let's do it. Yeah. Keely, yeah. did you bring your lead? Also, so far I'm not seeing any signs for no overnight parking Ooh, in the car park, true. so this could be a cool place to hang out. I feel like on a really moody night, the castle would look even more oh, creepy. Oh, imagine all the mist set in. It's kind of like sick. a movie set. I've been reading a lot of stuff and watching a lot of videos on foraging, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if any of you guys out there uh, do any sort of foraging around the UK. Like, do you have any resources or anything that I can use? I feel like there's a lot of stuff around us that we can eat, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I ate seaweed the other day, and then somebody told me that it was edible seaweed, not the one I was eating. That's friggin' yum! It tastes like crisps. I'm all up for learning what seaweeds I can eat, what plants I can eat. I'm, I'm up for that. Yeah, like there's so many nettles here. 
metal soup. Yeah, so we can make like tea and soup and random stuff like that. I'm well up for it. I think it'd be really fun. Me too. Excuse me. Do the steps. Cool. Absolutely stunning. What a cool spot. Yeah, beautiful. I feel like the Copper Coast gets like no attention because of the Wild Atlantic Way and the Ring of Kerry. Yeah. But it's actually incredible. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. And I suppose we did get a great day for it. Yeah, we did. Hey, Keely. Come here. Yeah? This is edible. No, it's not. It's one of the sticky ones. Is it edible? Are the sticky ones edible? I don't no, think they're they not. Are. I just wanted to stick it to you. Oh. oh. On to the next spot? Yeah. Wherever that may be. Oh baby. Guys, I think we've actually got a heat stroke. <laughs> Our Irish bodies aren't used to this level of heat and, and sun. I think I've got a suntan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we couldn't let this day go by without going for a swim. No. And the temperature is dropping by the minute. It's getting later and later. So if we don't do it now, we just won't. So let's do it. So let's do it. Never yeah. regret a swim. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Where we wait. Hear the birds and see the sun. Oh Lord. Oh Lord guys, this is feeling a bit cold. It's feeling a bit cold. It's feeling a bit cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> 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 you have to go in. <laughs> Come here, you with me. Oh, well, you're. How are you warm? I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Pleasant. Pleasant. It's freezing. In Baltic. Is this what I needed, man? Never regret a swim. Yeah. From we left the beach, we went to an Aldi and got ourselves some nice coconut lollipops. And then we decided to go and park up at this Greenway cycle path. And is that where this is? This is the Greenway. Oh, Lord, I'm so excited, guys. Are you gonna? Am I here? Yeah. Welcome to the shop. Yeah. So in this Waterford, hi. They have a Greenway, which is like a cycle path that runs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cycle our walking path, but <laughs> anyway, we're gonna chill out here tonight and then maybe do some cycling and stuff in the morning. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm so tired. Me too, this is the most stuff we have packed into a day in so long. I wanted ice cream, this tastes healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys. We had a great night's sleep. Very, very quiet park up. We were also greeted with a few other camper vans. So over the past few weeks, our routine has gotten a bit scatty. You've seen, sometimes we get up for sunrise and it's awesome. And then some days we just don't get up at all. <laughs> uh, so that has to change and that's going to change today. All right, Kevin, what's the plan? Okay, so uh, gonna admit guys, we're kind of suckers for these like little shots that you get, these turmeric and ginger shots. And I've decided that we're gonna be good and instead of buying plastic bottles, we're gonna try and make our own. One random key thing I just wanted to point out, did did everybody in the world know that turmeric had an R in it? Like, am I dumb? Like, please genuinely tell me, did you think it was turmeric or turmeric? Because I didn't know. Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how dirty our floor is? 
Keely's like, do you want to get a close up of me chopping ginger? <laughs> Guys, who wants a close up of ginger? <laughs> it looks like a toe. <laughs> Apparently black pepper activates the turmeric or something, I don't know. Turmeric. Okay, I'm excited. Show us. Um, this may be absolutely horrifically disgusting, but we're gonna give it a go. You know what the most exciting part of this process is? That we have lithium batteries. <laughs> oh, hello. It's a train. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? I'm gonna be really honest with you, like, I was walking on that train track earlier because I thought that was abandoned and I could have got killed. <laughs> I mean, it's going three miles an hour. <laughs> I, I thought that was a dead railway. What a treat! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh, that's, that's enough. That's enough excitement for me. I'm going to bed. I'm... Okay, am I doing the taste test? Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> Is there any pineapple with my ginger? It's coughing, dude. <laughs> Wow, that tastes healthy. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> caught me by surprise. <laughs> wow. Martin, I'm so excited we made these ourselves. I think this was a friggin' roaring success. Uh, we're gonna put them in the fridge so that they're nice and cool, and then we can drink them when we come back from our run. And uh, yes, you heard that correct. We are going for a run. Who are we? <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't ran in a long time. And you guys seen me run in my solo female van life vlog? If you didn't see that, go check it out here because it was exceptionally embarrassing. Hey, we still have the free pastels for you though. <laughs> I already need a fruit pastel. How do I bloody open these? Oh yeah, come on. Let's let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Really? Let's go. Let's go. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> the plan is okay because we both want to get our heart rates up. We want to get our hearts healthy, and the truth is, I run super slow. So we've decided we're gonna we're gonna part ways. We're both gonna run for 10 minutes and then run back, or in my case walk, and then we're gonna compare the distance. Yeah, because you guys mightn't perceive it, but this is the height difference between me and Keely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm excited to see how far I go, see how far you go. Ready? Let's do it. Love you, bye. Okay, so the Waterford Greenway, which is what I'm slowly, casually jogging along now, is a 46 kilometer of like car-free cycle hiking type path all the way across Waterford. Yeah, the main things people do apparently are cycle on it, walk, run, and now we've learned this morning, get a really cute little train. I'm gonna have to stop talking to you guys now because I'm already out of breath about 27 seconds in. Tell you what, guys, it's freaking beautiful here. I'm only like two minutes in, and I already remember why I hate running. <laughs> why am I doing this? I'll embrace the metal taste. Guys, forward. Oh! I am humbled. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I've just did slightly over 2K. Yay! I guarantee Keely said it at least once. But I can taste now. I totally understand where she's coming from. <sighs> I've got a right pot stitch. <sighs> I ran for just over 10 minutes. Oh my word, I actually ran. I made it 1.5 kilometers. Oh my word, my heart hurts. I need to stop talking, but there's people and it's embarrassing. I love you. Okay, so I can't walk the whole way back, so <sighs> Sam start running again. Pray for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that um, has rekindled my hate for running. 
Okay, two things guys. Remember you seen me that whole time I was in the shade and I just looked over at the part where Philly ran and realized none of his is in the shade at all. So I'm pretty sure if I'm burnt, you're very burnt. I put on sun cream for like one of the first times in my life in Ireland. <laughs> but look how sweaty I am. I ran for 10 whole minutes, 1.5k. I was all proud of myself. That's so good. Okay, and what did you do? I did 2.02. That's so good. Look at us go, we ran. Um, guys, I urge you, please, get your heart rate up. You won't regret it. You'll hear that at the time. It's, it's good. We'll have to look after our cardiovascular health. Indeed. Cheers. All down in one? No. Uh, cheers, guys, to, to a healthier heart and looking after ourselves. And a whole thing of ginger. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to go for it. Gonna make yourself vomit. It's too much ginger at once. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Healthy heart. <laughs> okay, guys, we actually have a lot of ground to cover because we want to get ourselves over to Wexford slash Wicklow. I just want to say, Waterford, you've been an absolute beauty. We have loved every minute of it. Yeah, the Copper Coast has just been such an underdog. Yeah, definitely. Hidden gem, come and check it out. But for now, I'm gonna try and finish this without vomiting, uh, try and cool down, and we love you guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.